Hey, it's Botanical Brian. Excuse the traffic noise, but I'm out here in one of Colonial Gardens bird gardens, and it's kind of by the street. Um, so creating a habitat for birds is a great hobby. It's lots of fun, it's rewarding, but it's also very important for our planet. Uh, bird habitats are dwindling. Suitable areas for birds to nest in and eat are dwindling, and we can help to change that by planting a bird habitat in your yard, at your church, at your school, or your business, a park, just anywhere that you can do plants, you can have a bird habitat. The things that birds like are very similar to our own needs. Food, water, and shelter, and a place to have a home and raise their young. And so as for, first we'll talk about food. Uh, I like to use bird feeders. So bird feeders are really good for uh, bringing birds close to a seating area or a window where you can view the birds, but it's more important to have a lot of different types of plant material out in your yard so that they can eat the berries of things like this wonderful crab apple or this holly or this uh, chokeberry. And I always say that the more diversity in plant material that you have, the more diversity in the birds that you'll have in your garden. Another important part of a uh, habitat garden is water. So you want to make sure that you have water. You want to make sure that you change that water on a regular basis. Every three to five days in the summertime, you may need to change it a little bit more regularly. Also, I like to uh, put a heater in the, in the bird bath in the wintertime so you keep the, war the uh, water warm in the wintertime. Birds still need that water during the winter months. Now when it comes to cover, again, having a diverse variety of plant material will give you a lot of different options, the birds a lot of different options for cover. We have things in the back like this uh, cedar of Lebanon, and then we have stuff like this holly, which are evergreen. Mixing deciduous and evergreen plants is a great idea. The other thing about this holly is it has thorns on it. That gives a little extra protection for the birds. I wanted to talk about leaving logs, stumps, and uh, uh, old dead trees in your yard. Some people think that that looks unsightly, but take a look at this log. I think it looks kind of cool and has some character uh, to it. And logs provide a place for birds to uh, get cover, and it also draws insects to the garden for the birds to eat. When it comes to bird houses, Bird houses come in a lot of different types, a lot of different varieties. And some birds like houses and some birds don't. But there's a lot of different types of species of birds that will live in houses. And the type of house uh, will dictate the type of bird that comes to the house. They like different types of homes and then they also like different uh, locations for the house. And so you can do research and you can figure out what type of uh, house and the location, and you can dictate the type of birds that come to your yard to visit. So creating a wildlife habitat for birds in your yard can really make a difference in the world. And so uh, come on in and check out our variety of houses and feeders and get some information on uh, uh, creating a habitat for birds.